And so today we're going to be building ourselves something to add to my growing fallout collection of stuff. And we're going to do the coolest cats of the wasteland. And we'll do a grilled rat roach too. Probably not. Ten years later, I finally got this all cut out. I got to dremel out the letters. I decided not to cut them through. So I got back in now, so I'll cut out and we'll get to painting. The front, I sprayed it all from the back, so all the shadows, careful. They're gonna be nice and black already. I missed a couple of spots I can see now, so we'll finish that up and start painting. Like it's a dark brown. The closest to it I have is like this He-Man brown, as I call it. So it's pretty light. So what I'm gonna try to do, how to experiment, I mean, I can obviously just buy the color, but I'm gonna paint this logo black, and then I'm gonna apply the, this light color over it in a very light kind of layer and see if just distressing it will make it dark enough to, to make it work. So fingers crossed, we'll see. Nuclear yellow, it was Ferrari yellow before, but it'd be nuclear yellow now. I'm ha very happy with that. Came out good. I like that it's already looking kind of rustic because I'm gonna take a sandpaper to it and darken it some more and make it a little more messed up before I start painting the logo. And I'll maybe after, I'm not sure yet. Probably before and then we'll see. Cooking up some meats. Mm -hmm. First with this really kind of skinny, short and pretty stiff brush, we're gonna just trace the outline because then it's easier to fill in the paint after the fact. Something silly like, I don't know, six, seven, maybe even longer months later, it's finally put together. Doesn't even match my garage anymore because beige color did match pretty good, but now, and I've made the Michelin Man since, I mean, this has been a crazy year. GameStop. So, but it came out really, really good. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll hang it in my game room, but it's pretty sick. A lot of doodling, a lot of painting, but I love it. So, maybe I'll do the... Now also, actually, speaking of which, now that Volt Boy over there blends in with the wall because it's the same paint. So I'm thinking maybe I should get rid of that one and build the Great War pin where he's riding the nuke. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. So let me know what you think, what we should build next, and great success. See you next time. Well, before the next time, I actually want to do something real quick that I haven't done yet. Um, it's a day I've been waiting for and it's the day that one of my viewers sent me a message and actually the guy Brian from Denmark is doing a Volt Boy and it looks really cool and I'm going to include some screenshots over here and whatnot. From earlier days it's been more my passion. I want to show and teach others how to make their signs. I don't really, I don't have an Etsy store. I don't really want to sell my stuff or anything like that. I just like for my therapy and for just fun of it. I like to doodle in my driveway, in my garage and I just have fun doing it with friends and so forth, but the big milestone I've been wanting to hit is for me to have somebody reach out and say, hey man, I've seen your stuff and I'm building something. And I had one where somebody did a little doodle of the Star Wars Rebel Alliance logo for themselves and their kids. And that was pretty cool, but this one is a pretty big one. I mean, something like that, that was one of the ones that means the most to me out of all the signs I've made because of the memory of my dad and so forth. Uh, you can probably find it somewhere, but it's just really, really neat. So hopefully if you guys build something or get inspired to get something done, you know, reach out to me and that'd be amazing. That'd be really cool. This way we can spread the jigsaw passion all across the world, hopefully.
It'd be like Bob Ross with the happy little trees. Thanks. Unlike Bob Ross, though, no accidents. No, we can't have happy little accidents because we need all of our fingers, right? All right, I'll see you next time.